This past Saturday at Doors Open Whitby, All Saints Anglican Church was open to the public, answering questions about its history and architecture, all while falling on its 150th anniversary. Liam Dempster takes a closer look at this Whitby landmark. The All Saints Church is a magnificent structure that has gone through its fair share of troubles, but the building still stands tall and proud, a breathtaking sight. The church was built in 1865 to 66, opened in 1866. Our uh, magnificent steeple was added in 1870. Uh, the church has had uh, significant uh, fire damage on two separate occasions uh, in 1927 uh, and in uh, 2009. 2009 fire uh, impacted us where the church was entirely destroyed uh, on the inside, uh, but the uh, heroes saved our building structure and uh, we were able to uh, undertake a two-year restoration and the uh, church has been brought back. The front window and the window that you see ab uh, above the front door here uh, were pretty well destroyed in their entirety. Uh, the windows on the naves were damaged but we were able to repair them for the most part. But a very uh, skillful uh, uh, glass company did the repair work and the uh, complete replacement uh, on the windows that required, and they were, uh, they're magnificent. The original windows were donated in memory of parishioners over the years from the early days of the church, each with an inscription of whose memory they were given. The inside was charred black. Uh, when the uh, walls were cleaned, uh, removing the burnt paint or whatever, we found a marvelous uh, yellow and red brick pattern, uh, bacon and eggs it's referred to, which we decided to leave as is. We did not paint the inside. Um, the uh, wood structure uh, has been stained and not painted inside, uh, and it's just a more natural, beautiful uh, appearance. Hammer Greenwood, a uh, mayor of Whitby in the uh, eight, early 1870s, arranged uh, to have a uh, piece of molding from Whitby Abbey in uh, Yorkshire, England brought over, and it and has been uh, embedded in the wall uh, in our building. It's, it, it's just an interesting piece, connection between Whitby, England and, and Whitby, Ontario. The ceilings had stencils, uh, and over the course of time, these were covered up with paint, acoustic tile, what have you. After the fire, we decided that we would like to restore that type of stenciling and have done so in the chancel area. Uh, an artist, uh, Rosa Danzig, uh, stenciled or painted uh, the chancel ceiling, taking inspiration from symbols from our stained glass windows. Refusing to let the fire define them, the church and its congregation push forward, keeping their beautiful building and its history alive. In Whitby, Liam Dempster, Durham Now.